All right, Seth. I'm doing a giveaway on my video. Seth, come here. Why? You look fine, just like that, young sir. I need you to draw a mustache on Nate's face. Nope, it's a shotgun. Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're in a weird store right now. And, uh, oh my, oh my, oh, don't do it. So which one of you guys is gonna sit in the middle? Yeah. Get the count of three. Come on, you two. No, no, no. You all right? Ready? One, two, three. Oh yeah. <laughs> all right, check it out. We have Enable. He's gonna be joining us this weekend. What's good? The other two redheads, one team. Yo, Masid. Yo, Masid. You coming with? Fuck no. All right. So this is Sethi. What is that? What the fuck are you showing me? Oh wait, you guys already saw this. They saw this in yesterday. Where were we at? My video? Yeah, you like okay. set it and then you put I love. The homie Oz taking the trip again with us. He's, he's the day one homie right there, always coming with. I'm like this, yo, what's up, what's that? Oh my god. What? What's up, you coming with? Hell no. While you guys are in France, it's raining, it's cloudy, people driving on the wrong side of the fucking road. I'm gonna be in the sun side. Los Angeles, California. Wait, where are you going? Tomorrow. Wait, you're going to where? Los Angeles. For, LA. for how long? Um, fly out tomorrow, come back. Yo, Saturday. what the fuck? That ain't healthy. That ain't I know, this is, it's a really childish ass meal. It's the first time I got this chicken tenders, macaroni, a little broccoli. Oh. For the prostate, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. It's like the same thing with you guys every single time. Yo, be ready at one o'clock. One o'clock comes around, somebody wants to go uh, change shorts. This guy's still fucking packing over here. He's not even on the team. I'm ready. Jesus. What the fuck is your problem? He's on our team for these next two events, baby. We're gonna win, baby. Do it. Get ready, Seth. Oh, you're so annoying, dude. Kids, don't do what he does. <laughs> We go look at that. We got the sprinter ready to roll. Alright. Say goodbye to the Optica. I'm gonna go with my seat. I have this thing where I can fast forward time. It all started in high school when I used to have like full day detentions. I'll be like, I'll look at my clock and I'll be like, it's gonna be like in no time I'll be out and I'll be thinking about this precise moment. So right now when formal said it's gonna be up it's about to be a long ass day, I literally said to myself, fast forward. So, like, what I'm seeing now, like, my oh, day's gonna be quick. I don't think it works like that. Yeah. Uh, my, my mind controls time. Yeah, don't do that in Chicago. Are you, are you camera ready? Yeah. Are you camera ready for final? 
<laughs> Seth, how do you say uh, how do you say thank you in, in French? Merci, mi pipi. <laughs> we made it. We made it. You excited? A little bit. You know, I'm excited for some crepes. We're getting crepes every fucking day. <laughs> for every meal. <laughs> It's raining. Oh, bro, you're wearing sandals? That's not good, pal. Yeah. Ian, your backpack. Yo, Hector, that's what you drink. Desperados. Why do you say that? Because it's in Spanish? Because you're Mexicano. <laughs> that's rude. <isn't> it? <laughs> it's not rude, it's Hector. Wait, are you saying that it's rude to be called a Mexican? No. <laughs> I don't believe in Scott, man. All right, dudes. It is now two o'clock. Finally got my room. Uh, I don't know why, but I always forget to make sure that they understand that I'm gonna come in like at six in the morning. Um, luckily, we were able to get into Enrique's room at around like ten o'clock. I took like a quick, a quick nap. I had to power nap. I slept for like two hours, and I'm still like super, super tired. But I want to give you guys a tour, and that's where we'll end this. Uh, no, we won't. I'm not gonna end this video until it's done, day one. Um, but I'm gonna show you. Uh, this is the Optic Suite for France. All right, as soon as you walk in, you can take a ride. What up? Ooh, look at the new yap yaps. Black, what? Anyway, so as soon as you walk in, you have a, a living room. What's in here? Ah, guest bathroom. Let's, uh, let's show you. They got a guest bathroom. Look at these toilets, dudes. So weird. So, this toilet, <laughs> this is the handle. This whole thing. And then it's, it's got tire on. I've been up for a minute. Anyway, so the, this is the, the living room area place with a big ass. 22 inch TV. And then we're gonna go into the sleeping quarters. So bathroom, individual toilet, same way with the big, big handle. Shower, shower. Uh, this is the, the regular amenities. And then we have a, a mirror, closet, chair, chair. Regular size bed. My bed at home is bigger than that. Uh, nice, very, very nice art. And then again, another 22 inch TV. And then we see the outside. Dirty ass window, but let's pay that no mind. Look at all these French people. All these amazing, amazing people living in an amazing, amazing city. First impressions of France is just like any other European city that I've been to from like that's my first impression, but the more that you drive around and the more that you get through the city and then the more that you get through the traffic, like you, you, you see, first of all, you guys are amazing drivers. Like I am talking about like a merge where it's like a cross, right? So there's cars going this way and then cars going this way at the same time with no light. They're just merging on the bridge. It's crazy. Um, so yeah. That's gonna be that, guys. I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Here we go with day two in France. I think the guys are already down here. I slept until noon, so that was pretty good. These guys woke up like at five because they didn't follow the plan. But here we are. Let's get to it. Morning. What up? Be a vlogger. What cathedral is this? It's uh, St. Mary Glees from Call of Duty 2. St. Mary what? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so how did you like the movie? I must say thank you because I wouldn't have watched it otherwise. Yeah. 
Did you to, do you identify with any of the Avengers? What? If so, who? Who do you identify? Who do you identify Thor. with? Thor. Thor. Hundred percent. One hundred percent. Yeah, I don't have a cape. <laughs> that's it. That's the only thing that differentiates you. The only thing. Yeah. <laughs> I can pick up the hammer, no question. I'm fucking. Yeah, but can you lay down the hammer? Who do you identify yourself with from uh, the Avengers? Uh, who do you identify yourself with from the oh, Avengers? Baby. Me too. Enrique, who do you identify yourself with? Vision. Yeah? Sure, yeah. Seth, who do you identify yourself with <laughs> from the Avengers? Black Widow. Uh, can you hear me? <laughs> So right now we're walking down the streets of Paris. Here are the boys wearing their flak jackets because they're water repellent. Yeah, I feel like there wasn't that many All right, so we were walking down the street and we legitimately had to wait for Ian to get some creeps or creps. Was it worth it? Fuck yeah. Was it worth the squeeze? It's so good. Let me that see. Show him. That one doesn't even look that For somebody good. who has never seen a crip, it's just like a. Fucking, it's, it's like a wrap, but it's a... Uh, oh, look at that gangster's bird. Look at this little pigeon. Come here, you pussy. Oh, who took a poop? Ian go? How come we just crim six everywhere? He's a mystery man, dude. He's adventurous. Let him do his thing. He's a mystery man, man of mystery. We are not. So right now, see there's our rooms over there where Seth is beyond this chandelier right now. Sir, Sir Formal is gonna show us the game room. This is where we're gonna be able to play and warm up. And by we, I mean them. And it goes all the way around. So you can like warm up 3v2 and then I think right here you can see like the majority of the venue. So far I think that this stadium like is a little bit better than what we've uh, experienced. Like even Champs wasn't that, uh, I mean the production was amazing, but uh, but the stadium and the setting itself, I think this one's one of my favorite ones so far. We'll see tomorrow, hopefully it fills up. People just jump on the bandwagon and call me as a shit ton of viewers they're gonna be like, Oh wow, look at how many viewers they have. Then they'll jump on the bandwagon. It brings us back to that, that famous saying that I came up with is uh, if you build it, they will come. I'm gonna come. That's from Angel. No, that's. I'm, I'm gonna come regardless. No, that's what I made it. You're gonna what, Seth? I said I'm gonna come regardless. Alright, dudes, I am literally standing in the worst seat in the house right here, and it is still one of the best seats in the house, just to show you. Like the importance of a good atmosphere and a good venue and what it adds to the actual production. Like you don't even have to try hard as long as everybody can see. Not only that, but if this gets filled out, just imagine the amount of people that are gonna be watching from home that are gonna wanna join in the fun. This is what Call of Duty needs. It needs stadiums. It needs seats to be filled, not seats and, and, and hope that they're gonna be filled. If you build it, they will come. Trademark by Hector Rodriguez. What do you guys think of the venue? If it fills, it'll be awesome. If it fails, it'll be. Do you think? Do you think that in the right city in the United States we can fill this? I think in Columbus we can fill it. I think in any city that MLG has visited we can fill it. We just need the venue, right? That's all we need. What do you think of the venue? The thing looks sick. Why? Because it's red and it matches your hair. I don't have red hair. Cut. We're here with the Swan Man, Optic Swanee. Seth, do that little dance you were doing earlier. Do it for the vine, man. Do it for the vine. Do it for the vibe, man. Do it for the vibe. <laughs> Look at how social this guy is. <laughs> Are you ready? All right, dudes. Tomorrow the tournament begins. I am now in the suite. I'm about to go to bed. Well, I gotta edit this video first, but I'm gonna go to bed, and then tomorrow I'm gonna give you guys. Um, you know, the day in the life of what the ESWC tournament is going to be on. I think it's going to be at ESWC.com. I don't know the exact uh, address of where you can watch the games, but I'm going to leave it in the description. Um, 
right now I just uh, I just walked in. It's 9:30 and it's barely getting dark. Right now I'm FaceTiming with uh, with my daughter. She's stepped away, and I'm about to start editing, watching some French TV, drinking some Evian. But uh, that's what it looks like outside. I don't know if it'll focus up a little bit. But uh, the window's kind of dirty. But and that's not me, you guys. I did not do that. Um, but either way, I hope that you guys. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, if you guys did, please remember to not leave without leaving a like. Until next time, guys, as always, this has been a Pax. I'm out. Peace.